Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Unbroken Bonds video. Today's Unbroken Bonds video, guys, is going to be a bit of a crazy one. We're going to be trying out a Maltrez Mill archetype, um, which is interesting because it kind of gains some strength th thanks to Welder and Fire Crystal. Both these two cards make Maltrez Mill a little bit better. Um, not going to lie, though, this deck is kind of on the weaker side. It's kind of a meme, if anything else. I don't think this deck is too competitive, but... Because we have access to Welder and Crystals now, I mean, it is possible to get some pretty good energy onto uh, Top Burner. And then Top Burner can uh, mill quite a few cards thanks to Welder. So I don't know, maybe this deck is kind of decent. I don't really know. We're going to be trying it out and we're going to hopefully maybe win a game with Mill. It's no no promises there, guys. Just saying. No promises that I'm going to win any games with this deck. Before we get into this feature video, guys, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Car Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO codes, for really anything, especially if you're looking for Unbroken Bonds pack codes, trying to get all those Unbroken Bonds codes still, and all the cards from Unbroken Bonds, get them over at Cargrabbing TCG. Obviously, you can get trainer kits, GX box codes. Uh, recently, the Kangaskhan boxes have come out, so, you know, if you constantly are going to Card Cabin to check to see if they're in stock, and if they're in stock, you can pick up some Kangaskhan GXs. You can also get other things like Flareon GX, Vaporeon GX, a little Marowak GX to name a few, Pikaram deck box codes, and of course, all the pack codes and all the other TCG code related stuff. Um, you get them over at Carcaver TCG, and when you do get something from there, of course, at the checkout, use code LDF for a 5% discount on your purchase. So shout out to Carcaver TCG, as always, guys. Check them out. Use code LDF at the checkout. Seems good. Now let's take a look at the deck. So, Moltres Mill is kind of a meme. It's not really like a serious mill deck. There's two different mills you can use right now. You got Rhydon Mill with Giovanni's Exile, and then you have Moltres Mill. I mean, both mill decks kind of rely a little heavily on a certain supporter to help them out. In this case, Welder is going to be used to support Moltres. Moltres has the attack top burner, discard all fire energy from his Pokemon, and then discard a card from the top of your opponent's deck for each energy you discard in this way. So ideally, with Welder and Attachment, you can discard up three cards. Um, because we also can use Counter Energy, Counter Energy does count as two fires uh, when you're behind in prizes. You can actually discard um, four energy from Moltres with a Welder Counter Energy play, which is really good. So the mill is nice, and you have some support with Welder. We're comboing Welder with Macargo Smooth Over to get any card we want to give us some consistency, I think, which is good. Now, Macargo GX is something you can play too because it does discard the top five cards of your opponent's deck for a single energy. But I've actually gone with Charizard GX instead. The reason I'm going with Charizard is not only because we can use Crimson Storm as a way to take a big prize, we can also use Raging Out GX, which discards the top ten cards of your opponent's deck. And this is actually easy to pull off. Welder... And, well, literally a Fire Crystal Welder will get you there. And as long as you have the pieces to your puzzle in your hand, and because we have Smooth Over, we can get any card we want. It's not too hard to get a Charizard GX into play out of nowhere and Welder Crystal in the same turn and build up a Raging Out and discard the top 10 cards. And 10 cards is very devastating. Charizard, again, we can also use Crimson Storm if we want to take a big knockout on something that's in the way. Uh, this can slow the opponent down, gives us more turns to keep milling with Moltres. And Charizard is really important. And in the late game, too, it's also really good to come out of nowhere with a Raging Out. So that's why Charizard GX is such a good card in this deck. Everything else, again, just supports you. It's literally just an Ranguru and a 2 2 Macargo line. And then the Moltres is to mill. Moltres can attack, too, sometimes with Fire Spin for 180, just to consider. Uh, we go into the items now. Uh, a lot of them are here to support the Welder plays. We got Energy Retrievals, four Crystals, two Fiery Flints, just all cards we want to have to get energy in our hand for Welder. I got four Nest Balls in the deck, obviously. One Poke Gear. It's a random card, but you can actually use Poke Gear with Smooth Over to guarantee a Welder. So I'm actually just going to go with one. Usually, I wouldn't play one Poke Gear. Like, there's no reason to. But because we can Macargo Poke Gear in the same turn for a Welder, it's pretty important and useful to do. I am playing a Pal Pad to get back our Welders. I would consider two of these. Um, you can also play Lieutenant Surge in this deck. I've just gone with a more straightforward build, but Lieutenant Surge can be used. You can do like two Welders in one turn with Lieutenant Surge, and you can get even more energy on Moltres. So that's something to consider too. I am only playing one candy for Charizard. Gladian could be put in this deck too if you want. Two stretchers to get our Pokemon back. I am playing one switch, of course. Sometimes it's good to be able to switch into Charizard to get out my cargo from the active spot. Only three Ultra Balls. A uh, little low on the uh, Ultra Ball account. I know. I would like to play four. Honestly, there's just so many different cards you need to put in this deck. It's kind of hard to find room for more than four Ultra Balls. I am going with one Heat Factory. My supporters, three Cynthia, three Lily, one Guzma, and four Welder. Again, Welder is kind of like the centerpiece of the deck. And for the energy, I'm going with 13 fire. We're going all in with fire energy. We're going with 13 of them. 14, 15. Just play a crazy amount of fire if you really want. I've just gone with 13. And I got three counter energy. Again, counter energy is really good with Moltres. I really want to play a fourth one. 
because counter energy is a two energy discard with Moltres, which is powerful. So I do want to play more than just three counter energies, but I can't find room for them. Uh, again, other cards you can put in here. I would recommend a second power pad, maybe a fourth counter energy. A counter catcher or two would be good in here too. But you got to play a lot of different cards in this deck to make this deck work. So it's kind of hard to build this deck like really, really well, I think. But there's a lot of room for improvement, I think. But yeah, we're going to try and mill some opponents out. And I don't know, man. It's going to be a little tough, I think. Um, but hey, man. Um, hopefully we can pull off some mills. That's all I care about. If we can win a game with mill, I'll be happy. No promises, though. But yeah, let's try out the Moltres Welder Mill deck. All right, guys. Let's go try to mill some people with Moltres. I honestly don't know how this deck's going to play for us. And I'm not really... I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be weird. It's going to be interesting. And we'll see how we can do here with Moltres. First game is up against a deck... That looks like it's going to be Quagsire, which is going to be an interesting match. We don't really care about what we play against outside of maybe something like Weezing. Because, like, we're always going to get knocked out. It's just down to us to constantly mill. And, uh, alright. We got a promising start. We got Moltres here. Bensi Guru. Definitely want to try to get Charizard in play if he's playing Quagsire. No, it looks like he's playing Nido Queen Swampert. Okay, this is actually a matchup I think we can beat because, well, they might be playing Brock's Great, but I might be good against them because they do mill quite a bit of their deck. So this might not actually be a bad matchup for us. In all honesty, I will right, get, get Moltres down. We'll Nest Ball for Slugma. I could get Charmander too. I don't really care about that. We'll just Welder to be active here. All right, let's see what we got. Another Moltres is good. Another Fire Energy. Touch the active. And we can pass. So next turn, we can knock them out Fire Spin, or we can Top Burner them. To be honest, we could play the Fire Spin game, but it's probably better just try and mill them, which we can win. You know, with Power Draw and all that good stuff, they will go through quite a bit of their deck pretty quickly, I think. So I'm pretty comfortable with this. Good watch out for Stretchers and Brock's Grid. Uh, my opponent might be playing Brock's Grid, which is nothing I'm worried about. But outside of that, I think this matchup is winnable. Hopefully. I think next turn, I'll Ultra Ball for uh, Charmander. Or I guess Macargo would be better. It doesn't really matter. I do want to get Charmander into play, though. We can establish that Charizard. Get a nice Charizard knockout. But maybe I want to do it when he's lower on energy, so Charizard's less likely to get KO'd. I don't really know. But I do want to do Charizard at some point to try and you know, discard the top 10 cards of his deck. Let's see what my opponent's able to do here. They're going to get a Meganium for next turn. Okay, and they're just going to pass. All right, what do we draw? Counter G's good. We could play that on the other Moltres. I guess we just go for Cynthia? I don't want to lose counter, so we'll Cynthia instead try and see what we find. There's a Charmander. Put him down. And, um... You can Ultra Ball from a Cargo. We'll get rid of Fiery Flint and an Energy. We'll keep the switch. Get Macargo into play. And uh, probably just smooth over for another supporter, like Cynthia. Or we can get Lily, actually. I'm predicting Moltres will get knocked out here. That's going to be my prediction, so we'll probably just set up for next turn. Seems good. Top burner, three cards. Hopefully we get rid of some good things. Let's see, we're discarding three cards here. A Lily, a Judge, and a Meganium. Judge is a good discard because they can easily lower their hand size, putting cards back into their deck. All right, we are in a decent spot, I think. So they'll probably knock me out. Let me get Counter G activated. And once Counter G gets activated, Moltres discards a lot more cards. Which is one of the cool things about Moltres, is Counter Energy and Moltres is a really good combo. I don't know if Charizard GX is weak to water or not. I'm pretty sure it is. So, we'll probably get knocked out by, by Swampert. Oh, he's actually going to Guzma me. Can I bring out my cargo? That's fine. We got a switch in our hand. And just a pass. My opponent doesn't really have much. Which is pretty good. Unfortunately for us... We don't really have much out here. I guess I can Ultra Ball with Welder here. I think I'm just going to smooth over for... I don't know. 
Let's check out Charizard. Okay, Charizard is weak to water. Okay, well, good to know. I think we will get... It's either Welder or... Now we'll get Welder. We do have a switch here, which is good. We are able to switch out of the active. We'll draw more cards with Lily. We'll bring in Moltres. Lily here. Okay. Ultra Ball, get Charizard, or I can wait a turn. I think I'll wait a turn. We could mill the top card of his deck. Really no point to that though, in all honesty. It's just one card. I want to keep the Welder anyways. Yeah, we're just going to pass. Don't need to mill. There's no point. It's just one card. He's got two cards in his hand too. It doesn't look like he has much. Now, we'll see what my opponent's able to do. The nice thing about this matchup is sometimes they just don't find energy. Because they only play, what, four triples? A couple fires for the heat factories. That's about it. Okay, there's a Lily. That can get him more cards. But that also lowers their deck size. Okay, they got the Needle Queen. And once they knock me out, we can get the counter energy activated, which is what I really care about. Let's see if they get another Meganium down with Queen's Call here. I want them to get Swampert in play just so they can power draw and thin out their deck even more. To be honest with you, that'd be amazing. I do want to hit some Cynthia's though. And there's Swampert. Alright, looks like they're going to get in play here. Oh, Timer Ball, Double Tails. Ah, rip, they got a head. So they can get another Meganium, I guess. So they can get a good setup here. They do need to find that energy, though, to attack me. I actually wouldn't mind them having a super boost energy to the Noodle Queen, so they can't super boost energy to their Swampert, so they can't do any Swampert super boost energy shenanigans on my Charizard. I mean, Charizard will still most likely get killed by Needle Queen regardless, but still, you know what? It would be nice if it was not the case. To be fair, I actually could get Charizard down this turn. If I can draw Fire Energy, I can actually get Charizard into play and do it now. I think we wait, though, to play Charizard. Right, let's see if my point finds an energy. Don't look what they did. They haven't attached it. Oh, the Stretcher's in the discard pile, too. That's a good sign. I think our Ball. Most likely going to get another Mudkip here. Yep. And let's see. Do they have another Swampert thing into play? Nope. Okay, so they whiff an attack. Alright, so we'll smooth over for... I think Fire Crystal. Welder. Only one energy, but we can still mill a couple cards here. Got Palpad. I'm gonna play that and get back my Welder. Get back those Welders. Could get back Cynthia too. Would not have been bad either. Fire Crystal, get these three boys back. We'll attach. And we can do Charizard next turn. So, I might do that. And we'll top burner the top two cards of this deck. See what we get rid of here. Okay, green. We don't really care about. Didn't really get anything important, like energy. He's got 21 cards left in his deck, though, so he's getting a little low. Alright, there's another, okay, another Lily. He's got 18 cards left. We've milled quite a bit of his deck, like, well, we haven't done all the milling. He's also been discarding cards, but he's getting low on cards, and we haven't even, he hasn't even taken a prize yet, so this is going pretty well. We can even do some Guzma plays. No, he concedes! No! I wanted to win that game without a concession, dang it! Alright, whatever, we'll keep the game. We showed off what the deck is all about a little bit. We were able to mill, and we also showed off why the Macargo is so good with Welder. Because being able to get any card you want off of the Welder and Macargo combo, I think it's really important in a deck like this where you constantly are needing to keep following up with different plays. Sadly, he did concede there, but uh, I think we did a good job kind of getting things going. We were almost ready to set up a Charizard play too. I think what would happen if he knocked out the Moltres, I would have brought out the Moltres counter energy. I would have built it up. I would have set up a. I would have set up the Charizard for the following turn. And then what I would have done is I would have went for the Charizard, assuming he would have done a couple more power draws. He would have had less than 10 cards in his deck, and then we would have dropped the Charizard on him and milled and won the game. That was going to be the plan. So yeah, I'm doing another game with the deck.
All right, guys, let's go do another game with Maltra's Mill and see if we can actually mill someone this time, as the deck title suggests. I don't have a five win streak, so I'm going to cry if we lose this, but what can you do? Uh, we're up against a fire deck, and it looks like it might be a Charizard deck, which is going to be an interesting matchup. Uh, cards like Energy Recycle System are not good, so we want to see that get discarded. We'll see if we can win, though. That's all I care about is milling. And uh, we are going to go first, which is not bad. And uh, we'll see if we can get a good start going. The last game, we got a decent start going. So hopefully we can pick it up this game, too. See what our hand looks like. Moltres, Charmander, Cynthia. Not bad. Not the worst hand. So yeah, we're looking for the... Looking for a good hand. Uh, well, Cynthia... And I'm trying to hopefully get a welder for next turn. Discard the top three cards. What I'm looking to discard is Stretchers and Energy Recycle Systems. Uh, or Energy Recyclers. Whatever the card that shovels five energy. Those are what I want to discard. Oh, he's playing the... Uh, he's playing Char Reshizard. All right. Never mind. This is not going to be the matchup I expected. All right, well, Cynthia. See if we can get anything here. Good. I'm looking for maybe another Moltres. We didn't find it. We do have a welder for next turn, though, which is good. Outside of that, our hand is not great. Moltres should live. Okay, Moltres should survive the turn. I hope it does. Okay, there's a Heat Factory. That's going to help me out quite a bit, actually. He would need a Switch and a Welder and Attachment to knock me out with Double Blaze. So he's, he's going to take a while to, to knock me out, and I feel pretty safe. He's playing the Green Build, so he might not even attack me this turn. I don't really care about the Volk anyways. The Volk does not knock me out in one hit. So... What I care most about is we're dealing with Reshizard. We might be able to build up our own Charizard GX at some point and do 300 damage, knock him out, get rid of that. I doubt Rush, uh, Charizard GX will take all of our prizes. That would be kind of cool if it could. A matchup like this, though, I think is winnable. There's a few things that can go south, like Cynthia and Fire Crystals are a good combo. Any way they can get cards in their hand to shuffle in their deck is what I'm kind of worried about here. This is why this deck ain't perfect. It's... It's obviously not, like, an amazing deck, but, hey. We'll see what we can do here. Gonna get a Flint and a Guzma. That's fine. I got my own Guzma. Don't know what he's gonna target outside of the Slugma. He's gonna play the Crystal. He gets rid of a Welder and a Power Plant. The Power Plant's a good discard. I'd be happy if that Heat Factory stays and play the entire match. And I hope it does. Alright, he already did support for the turn, and we're gonna see a Flare Starter. Okay. So I guess he's going to Guzma my, my Slugma next turn. Maybe Naga the Charmander. I don't really care if he does. We'll stretch her for it back. Uh, okay, we got my cargo. We can smooth over for a fire so we can do a bigger welder here. If we can get two fires. And we kind of did. I'm not a fan of playing Crystal though, but whatever. I'm hoping that we can get another Moltres here. Another Slugma would be amazing too. Uh, yeah, we did. We'll Ultra Ball away Heat Factory. And I guess Guzma, that's a tough discard. That's why I don't go Consane on the Ultra Balls. I just never know what to get rid of. We'll just get Moltres. And we'll top Burner. We're gonna discard three cards. I'm looking for some good discards here. Fire Crystals will be amazing. Nope, we did get rid of a Kikui and a Lieutenant Surge, though. Not really a big deal to discard either of those. I guess Kikui means he can't Heat Blast one shot in Moltres, but still. Alright, so he's most likely gonna Guzma up the Macargo and knock it out. If he does that, we can still top burner for four cards. The one thing I'm always worried about with this with this deck, though, is the opponent can easily just not do anything. They can just simply attack. Attack, attack. They don't have to play cards from their hand or from their deck. They can just attack every single turn. That's one of the issues this deck faces. And I think we're going to be showing off why that's a bad thing. As you can see, it's just, he can just attack every single turn. He doesn't really care about, let's get this off the back. He doesn't really care about having to um, draw cards from his deck. That's one of the reasons why this deck is kind of flawed. Matchups where they just one-shot every turn. They can just kind of keep it going forever. We'd have a pretty good turn here, though, I think, with Welder. So we got another Nest Ball. Uh, let's get another Slugma down in case he Guzmas. 
from a welder to the active. We're going to be able to mill four cards here, which is good. Okay, there's Charizard. There's another Nest Ball. Get a Moltres. Now we'll get Charmander. With the Char Boys. We still have a couple Nest Balls left, I think. And uh, we will top Burner. I could Fire Spin him. But we're trying to try and mill him here. See what we get rid of. Again, I'm looking for Fire Crystals and Cynthia's. Nope. None of the above again. He's got 27 cards left. It's going to be hard to get him down to 10 cards. And again, all he has to do is just pronounce his attack. He doesn't have to draw cards from his deck. That's one of the problems with this Moltres deck. Is you run into a matchup like this. Again, they don't have to do anything. They just pronounce their attack. Pass. See? They just pronounce their attack. That's all they got to do. Uh, that's why this deck is pretty flawed. It's one of the issues this deck struggles with. Um, that was a good that was a good draw. Okay. Let's move over. We can get rare candy for Charizard, which I might as well do. Still have one welder left too, which is good. I'm gonna rare candy here for Charizard. What is welder? Alright, nice, we got that. We'll slap you down. We'll save the Nest Ball. Rare Candy into Charizard. We need another Welder and an Energy for next turn. And we'll Top Burner. What are we looking at here for discards? Energy and Green, not great. So... I might have to bring in Moltres. I actually don't know if I can go with Charizard. I do want to do it though, I want to use Charizard before, or during the turn, he can't do Flare Strike again. That's what I want to do. He might just knock me out here though, if he has Double Custom Catcher. I don't know, this matchup is bad. I think Reshizard is not a good matchup. With cards like Fire Crystal and Cynthia's, they can easily win. And they're just such a powerful deck, they don't have to really do much, but just pronounce their attack. Like, that's one of the issues with the Reshizard matchup. It's kind of hard to beat. The only card I can think of that you can play is, like, Arcoinid. And just hope that they don't have an answer to it. We'll see, though. We can draw a Fire Energy here. We can Heat Factory. Try and get one of the Fire Crystals. We still have two left. Try and get a Fire Crystal. We just need a Crystal Welder combo for Charizard. I and mean, we can do a Raging Out GX, get rid of 10 cards, which is really good. Okay, so this is where things get tough. They can also just switch, though, and knock me out. Nah. I don't want to lose Charizard, though. Uh, we might, yeah, I think we will have to wait a turn. In all honesty. And we drop a Crystal... That, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. We drew the fire crystal. Oh my gosh, that's a troll. Alright, we'll just get counter energy then for Moltres. I gotta hope Charizard lives. I wanna do a raging out. I don't think we'll be able to win this game at this point, but... I wanna be able to do a raging out. Alright, we'll attach. Heat factory, try and get a stretcher or something. Nope. We did get Welder, though, which is good. And we'll top Burner. Discard two cards. Not much. I really hope that Charizard lives to turn. I really want my Charizard to live here. I want to do one Raging Out. Uh, we just need to get rid of eight more cards and then a Raging Out to win the game. But if they're sitting on, like, Crystals and Cynthia, there's no way we're going to be able to win. There's just no way. I feel like this deck just can't really beat Reshizard. It's just too fast. Aw, oh, come on. He's gonna knock out my Charizard before I even get to use it. That's very, very annoying. Oh, wait, did he just, what, he choice banned the Volk? Well, huh? Wait, does he not have a choice ban? What? Yo, why did he do that? Okay. This guy just gave me a chance to not win, but he just, he just did that. I, what? I'm actually so confused right now. I am so confused. Okay, this is good if... This is pretty good. Basically what I'm trying to get at. Uh, so we do have the Charizard Raging Out play available to us. 
Um, okay, well, Heat Factory. I'm trying to find Palpad here. Okay, there it is. Let's get back two welders. I am so confused. All right, we can try to raging out. I doubt we're gonna be able to get eight energy on our Moltres though, but we can try and get. We just gotta hope this guy like doesn't Cynthia and like for some reason plays like three or four cards from his deck. I doubt that's gonna happen though. Dang it. Yeah, that was really confusing why he didn't just knock me out with Charizard, but whatever. So we're gonna come short on the win here, unfortunately. I just, there's no way we can get seven energy on this guy. This is not meant to be. It is not meant to be. All right, we have... Okay, we can just do this and draw to the welder. I guess it doesn't really matter, I guess. We came close. Um, to be fair, for a Reshizard matchup, we were able to get pretty close to actually, like, milling him properly, which is good. If I play Lieutenant Surge, I would have won here. That's unfortunate. If I had Lieutenant Surge, I probably could have won the game. But yeah, we came close. We just needed to mill three more cards from his deck, and we would have won the game. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. The matchup, this matchup is tough. But hey, you know what? Look at how close we came. We just needed two cards. And we got to show off the Raging Out combo that I wanted to do. And I'm glad we got to use Charizard's Raging Out attack. That makes me happy. There's really no way we can win this. He's just prolonging the inevitable. So, yeah. Moltres Mill. It's a fun deck. Uh, can it beat Reshizard? Not really. I think the matchup is just too tough. Well, they can just to pronounce the attack every single turn. There's not much you can do. Uh, we'll see you guys another game, though. And hopefully we can mill someone this time, maybe. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go do a, another match with the deck. We came close to winning that one game there. We just had to mill two more cards. We did beat the Needle Queen deck, though, which is, you know, something to be happy about. We didn't get to fully mill them, though. We're up against Rare Candy TCG. I don't know this is a if this is Rare Candy, like the YouTuber. I don't know, but we're going to find out, I guess, and uh, hopefully get some milling going. Uh, they might be playing... Well, they're playing a Psychic fire deck I saw. It might be a, another Reshizard deck. I mean, if it is, so be it. We'll see how we do here. We got the double Moltres start. I think this is Rare Candy. I don't know. I don't know if this is actually like the, the YouTuber Rare Candy. I, I don't know. If it is, YouTuber Battle Hype, which is sick. All right, we get you an extra card. Got Nest Ball, which is good. Okay, so it definitely is a fire deck. They start with Jirachi. It looks like it's just going to be another Reshizard deck with Jirachi. Um, which is fine. We could probably beat it. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, but it'll go like last game, where again, they can just pronounce their attack. And, you know, they don't need to draw many cards. And that's one of the issues that I think Moltres Mill faces. It's just, all they have to do is pronounce their attack. And, like, you can't do anything about it. Uh, we'll see if we can come close to milling this time around, though. Man, you know, if it is, you know, a YouTuber, then at least we get to go out in a good way. Definitely not looking up. To see if this is actually the YouTuber or not. Anyways, if it is, you know, it'll be a hype game. It'll be hype. Um, so we'll probably Nest Ball for Slugma. Don't think I want to attach the counter energy quite yet. Um, I don't know if I want to mill one card, though. They're going to Acro Bike. Okay, they're playing a few cards. We'll see if they get a turn one Kiawe here on their EV Lax. No, they're going to Stellar Wish. All right. Gonna have fire crystal. There's a choice band. Alright, do they have a welder? Ooh, they're gonna let loose me. Let's see if we can get a lily here. This could be a big let loose. If I don't get anything good, it might be bad. Um, okay, we got a rain guru. We can do that. I'm actually fine with this hand. As long as the rain guru's in the deck. And if we can get like a lily or something off that, I'll be happy. Right, they do get the turn one welder. So this EV Lax is getting ready to be built up. Oh, only one energy. Ooh. Okay, that's not bad actually. If they didn't get another welder, they're not gonna be able to build that up next turn. Okay, let's see what we draw here. Another Moltres. Alright, well, it's gonna have to be discard bait. And we'll get Charmander, I think. Either Charmander or another Slugma. I think I'll just get Charmander. I'm fine with that. I do want to get Charizard into play. It might be risky, though, because of Dump Truck Press. Okay. Uh, I got another Slugma. Well, Cynthia. Not a Lily, but I'll take it. See, we get any energy. 
We do. We can attach that there. We have a counter energy for next turn. We could top burner just for a single measly energy. Um, oh, we got rid of a Dedene. I was hoping that would be a welder or a fire crystal, but I'll take a Dedene discard, I guess. That's not bad. I actually would mind them playing Dedene because it thins through their deck. I don't know. This is going to be like the last game where it's going to be really tough to just mill them completely. Uh, we'll try, though. I'm trying and see if we can come close to winning. They do have an Ultra Ball here. I kind of wish we had, like, a Hoopa or, like, Arquana. Just some, like, stalling type of card. That wouldn't be bad to have in this deck either. There's a few options to make this deck better, I think, for sure. Um, now, they do have the Knockout here, it looks like, with Lele for Welder. They'll have around 31 cards left in their deck at the end of their turn. 32, or 30 cards, 29, something around there. Okay. So it's going to be hard to do Charizard. I think we'll have to do it at the right moment. Because if we play Reshi, if we play the Charizard, you know, he just knocked him out of Dumpstart Press. The thing with the Reshizard is that Reshizard has to attack every, like, Kinda every other turn without a switching card, so like there is some benefit to that, but it's not gonna be the same this time around. Okay, well nest ball. Oof. Surprise you, they're Moltres. That's pretty bad. Um, we're at the Lily. Yeah, we didn't even get him a cargo. That's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. Um, we do have a switch though, so. There might be hope, maybe. Probably not. Mill two cards. Got rid of a switch and acro bike. Not great. I don't know. This deck is not real. I maybe Lieutenant Surge is good in here. I don't really know. Maybe maybe we do need Lieutenant Surge. See, they can just pronounce their attack every turn. They don't have to play any cards from their deck. So not great. If we bring in Charmander. We really need to find our Resty Stretcher here. Hmm. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna Fiery Flint. Does it search up to two? Yeah. I can get no energy here, just so I can get a better Lily going. Nope, not much either. <laughs> uh, we can get Macargo. We can get the Charizard in play. He hasn't played a Guzma, though. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to come out on top of the win here, folks. I, I, I generally don't think we can win this. I'm thinking maybe like Guzma the Lele and like Magma Ring it. I don't know, though. No. Doesn't really look like we're going to be able to come out on top of the dub. Hmm. Best I can do is just burning out. I mean, we might as well just set up a funny little Charizard play for next turn. Why not? Assuming my cargo lives, why not? Why not get a hilarious little Charizard playoff? We tried. We can mill 10 cards. Maybe my opponent doesn't see it coming. Made my rare candy's prize, which would be kind of hilarious considering we're playing against rare candy. But yeah, I think the Reshizard matchup is, like, almost unwinnable. The fact that they can just attack every turn, they don't really have to do much. I mean, you can't really do anything about it. So I think we just accept the fact that there's no way we can win this at this point. Considering we can't find Moltres off the prizes. Yeah, I, th I think we just take the L here. I think we just go for a Charizard play and hope for the best. But yeah, not much we can do. This, this matchup's kind of tough. We just gotta, the whole we just get matchups more where they thin through their deck a little bit better. That's what we gotta hope for. Okay, they're gonna rope here. And yeah, give up Slugma. If they knock out Macargo here, I mean, we're not gonna be able to get the Charizard playoff at all. I don't know. If we can somehow manage to get like a Moltres, a couple counters, or a couple energies on it this turn too, somehow, which is gonna be hard to pull off, I doubt we'll be able to do it. I mean, we can mill 10 cards. Uh, there'll be at 14 cards left. There's no way really a 14 energy on a Moltres. I think they're... What are they knitting for Guzma? I mean, if they leave my Slugma stranded, I can Magma Ring them, I guess. There's Guzma. No, they're gonna knock out my cargo. And we're not gonna be able to find rare candy. Okay, they're taking out Charmander. That doesn't matter. 
Okay, at least we still get to go out with a meme and go out with a burning out GX or raging out. Maybe they were expecting me to build up for Crimson Storm. I don't know. All right. Um, so what do we do? We smooth over for Rare Candy. Please don't be prized. Thank you. That would have been hilarious if Rare Candy was prized, if since we're up against Rare Candy. Um, well, Crystal. Yeah, we tried. Yeah, I don't think this is possible to win this, but hey, you know what? We tried and we cried. At the very least, we can go out epically. Wait, what? Why did the other energy not get attached? Oh, whatever. All right, guys. Apparently, everyone's playing Reshi's art today. I cannot find a game that isn't Reshi's art. I, I want to see how we do against a different archetype. Um, I just, the Reshi's matchup is just, you can't beat it. Uh, you, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. Uh, I want to find something that is not Reshi's art or Weezing. And it looks like it might be against Weezing. All right. Well. Weezing is winnable. I did have a game where I tested, and it turns out my Charizard was prized. And if I didn't prize it, I would have won the game. So, yeah, there you go. All right, we do win the coin flip. This might just be a Zoark deck, actually. It's got a Zoark coin. All the types do line up. I was thinking this is going to be a Weezing deck, but it might be Zoark. I think Zoark's going to be a little bit easier to beat. Zoark might be a bit easier to beat. Especially because they can just trade every turn. They're going to be drawn a lot of cards. But the only problem is they have Cynthia. So maybe like a a Lolan Persia Pur would be good in here. Make them pay would be a nice way to even things out a little bit. I don't know. A Dant new. Uh, I do like our hand though. Turn one Lily. I could put, maybe I could pull gear for Welder. It depends. I didn't really get any other basics. If I'm going second, it's probably not going to be good. So I don't know. See how we do against Zoark though. It's probably gonna be a little bit better than the Reshizard matchup. Draw an extra card, another Moltres, that's good. Okay, we are going first. I like to see it. Not a big Lily, but if we get a Slugma, I'll be happy. No, no. Was not meant to be. Alright, well, not fortunate. We're probably gonna get Mar Shadowed here. Unfortunately. <laughs> not the best. My opponent actually can do a Dugon attack if he wants. Knock up my active. Not this turn, obviously. Next turn, though. Uh, but I'm looking for some good top burner mills. Stuff like energy is what I want to see. Energy, power pad, if he's playing it. And especially rescue stretcher. Oh, he's got a Persian, too. Yikes. That could be a little annoying. Well, most of the time we have big hands with this deck because of all the welder spams and fire crystals we do. So Persian could be a slight problem. Oh, just a horn attack for 30. All right. Let's see what we can draw here. Okay, Welder top deck's nice. So we can Flint. Get rid of Poke Gear, I think. Get four fires out of the deck. Hopefully this Welder can get me a couple, like a Slugma or something would be nice. Got him. We actually milled four cards here. Uh, we'll Ultra Ball, away these energies. Get Charmander ready to go. Well, I guess I should check if we have Burr Candy Prize. But too bad, I'm not going to because I'm lazy. Alright, we're going to top Burner. Hopefully get rid of some goodies. Four cards is quite a bit. Zoark, Stretcher, Pal Pad. Perfect. We got the two cards that he can get the stuff back with. They're gone. That's good to see. And we'll see if my opponent's able to take out Moltres. I was hoping we could discard an energy there. That would have been nice. Like a triple energy would have been a good discard. Wasn't meant to be. Well, that was a good turn, I think. See if my opponent gets a knockout here. Oh, no. They're going to judge me. If they don't get the attack off, we get more turns to mill them. I actually hope they mention a muck at some point so we can try and trap that. Ooh, Wilder two energies. That's amazing. Can we draw him a cargo maybe? Ah, uh, they got a DC. But that's not gonna get a knockout. Right, okay, cool. We're chilling. Another Charmander. Might as well play that down. We can weld their two more energies onto Moltres. Uh, ooh. We got Counter Energy, and we got Arzard. I could have touched Counter Energy, but we'll just melt the two. What are we looking at? A Grimer and an Ultra Ball. Grimer's okay. I like the Ultra Ball, though. Can't find Dugon right off the bat, which could be good, I guess. Or you can find another Zoark. 
I'm really glad we got rid of that Palpatine structure, though. Those were some pretty big discards. We got the Charizard in hand, so if I could actually just draw a, um, a cargo here, we can just straight up Lily for it and get the rare candy Charizard into play. Well, we have to save Raging out. We can't burn it right away, you know? We gotta save it for a good day. I'm actually... Why is he attaching that? That's a little surprising. There's a Guzma. He's probably gonna knock out Slugma. Yeah, rip. He's not knocking out Moltres, though, which is good. Losing Slugma kind of sucks. But he's milling two cards. Hey, he gets rid of that Persian threat. That's a good discard. I was worried he was gonna try and do a Persian play. But only 80 damage. Not bad. Alright, we're just gonna bring in Moltres, because he might not fill his board up. Alright, let's see. We got a switch. Counter G will Lily for four. Another Slugma's good. We got Palpad back. That can get us the two welders back. We can top burner. Hopefully Slugma lives. Ooh, triple energy discard. Not bad either. Dugon plays could be annoying, because that's one way you can take more than one prize per turn. If Moltres can live, that'd be great. And then next turn, yeah, we have an Ultra Ball from a cargo here. Won't really do Charizard right away, but we have both Charmaders down. If you knock out Slugma, it's gonna be a little hard to keep the chain going. Oh, he's got two stretchers. That's annoying. Looks like he's actually just gonna put the Zorg back in his hand, though. Oh, he's getting Grimer. Okay, if he puts the Muck down, I can use that as a good target to trap it if he doesn't end up. If he ends up losing more Guzmans, that would be a good good thing to do, is try and trap the Grimer in the active spot. That's going to be a good plan. Alright, let's see if he's able to knock out Moltres here. You need one more Pokemon. Ooh, there's one Guzma. Alright, the Muck, the Muck stall is looking a little bit smarter now. Alright, there's a Lele coming down. Duty grabs. The Huey. Alright, not bad. He has no room for Slowking, so there's no way he can one-shot the Charizard GX either. I like that. Yeah, we can definitely try and trap the Muck in play. Even the Grimer, it's got a 3 retreat cost. He's not going to be retreating that anytime soon. We just got to wait a little bit until he mills, uh, until he mills a few more switching cards. Then we'll drop the Guzma. Okay, I'm actually going to bring in Moltres so I don't get Dugonged out of nowhere. So he doesn't get a two-prize turn. What do we draw? Crystal's pretty good. We can use those energies as discard bait. I don't think we've used a crystal yet, have we? Nope. Even better. Alright, well, Ultra Ball for the Macargo. Sadly, we can't draw anything here. Might as well just mill for one. Or I can get ready for Charizard. Let's move over for Welder. That's assuming he doesn't Guzma the Macargo, though. Might not be worth it. I think we just mill one. There's no need to do Charizard quite yet. Let's get Welder ready to go. And we'll just do a one one discard. Every every discard we do is for the best, right? We've got 21 cards left. 20 cards left. Let's see if he trades this turn. No, he's gonna keep thinning. I like to see it. This is gonna be another really close game, I think. This is gonna be another close game. Okay, you he loses the uh loses a slow poke. I mean if he gets muck here, we won't have a Ranguru, which kinda sucks, but he also won't have that Marshadow, so we can maybe stick a heat factor into play. Kinda get more draw support going. Let's get another Zoro. No muck. Maybe he just realizes the muck is not a good idea. Ah, uh, let's see. I'm a little scared of Macargo getting KO'd here. Uh, it's gonna be harder to win without Macargo. If Macargo lives, though, we can keep up the chain of Macargo plays. Oh, he's actually gonna judge me, so I lose the Charizard. I lose the Welder top deck, but I should get something off of this, right? Yep. Perfect. That was a good judge. And he wasted that, too. He could have had a bigger hand. Sadly, though, he knows it's not a good idea to to uh, do much else. So I think we will try and set up a Charizard play here. We'll smooth over for Rare Candy and hope we draw Charizard. 
kind of risky though, I don't know. We didn't get it, okay. We did get a welder though, so we should be able to get Charizard next turn, assuming my cargo lives. Now we can mill three cards again. Ace Rolla. Okay, nothing really important. I gotta hope that he uh, doesn't just pronounce his attack and then he mills a couple more cards. I doubt he's gonna do two trades though, but if he does, be my guess. We can also attack with Charizard. Dang it, he's not mill. Okay, he'll have four cards left, so we are gonna come very close to winning this. This is gonna be the closest game we've had so far today. This is gonna be the closest game. I shouldn't have played that, whatever. We might whiff an energy here. That would be really bad. If we do not get an energy, we should though. We still have energy retrieval and a couple crystals left. Now, if we do whiff an energy, I'm gonna cry. Okay, good. Just barely got it too. Okay. This is gonna be the closest game we've had today and uh, it's gonna be kind of exciting. Raging Out GX for 10 cards. Nice. A Guzma discard is good. I just hope he doesn't play two pop He's got three cards left in his deck. Can we win this? I saw a Cynthia get discarded, which is another good card to see. I wish he did two trades, though. If he did two trades, that would have been nice. He's actually not even too shy at me with the bodybuilding dumbbells. That's insane. Holy cow. I'm not even going to attack him then with wing attack. There's no point, honestly, to do that anyways. But, looking good. He's out of Guzmas too, I think. As long as he didn't play two pal pads. Yeah, he's not even two shotting me. This is amazing. Not even Dugon. We need a Dugon choice band. Does he even have any choice bands? I don't think he does. Alright, we're gonna Cynthia. I'm looking for Stretcher. Uh, no Stretcher. That's unfortunate. But it looks like we can come out with a dub here. As long as Charizard lives, I think we can come out with a dub. As long as Charizard lives, we have game. No. Hmm. Nope. That sucks. Are we gonna come this close again, bro? Oh my gosh. Two cards again? What do you mean? Oh my gosh. I, I'm gonna wrap up the video here, guys. You know what? We gotta play against a YouTuber. Um, two cards off again. Yikes. Okay, you know what? Looking back at the deck, I think maybe we could use some good old Lieutenant Surge. Dang it, man. We came so close to milling. I don't know. The deck is fun. I think Macargo makes up a lot of the deck. Charizard was definitely a good addition over the Macargo GX I originally had. I don't know. The list is tweakable. Maybe 13 energies is a little too much. Maybe 12 is better. I don't know. I wish we had room for maybe another Lieutenant Surge. If we didn't prize Moltres there, we would have won the game, I think. That sucks, man. We came so close to winning again. Oh, my. Was not meant to be. Anyways, that's all that is. Peace video, guys. If you enjoyed, drop a like on the video. Subscribe down the road to 1,400 subs slash 5 thousand subscribers make sure to check out the lovely sponsor card cavern tcg in the description below if you do get anything from card cavern tcg use code lef for five the discount on your order Maltres mill for you guys and uh yeah thanks for watching the video follow me on twitter in the description down below and i'll see you guys later Bye bye